Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Ricardo? I'm fine. What happened and yesterday? Yes, because I I I, I had a, a resolve problem in my job. Uh, excuse me about that. <laughs> um, okay, no problem. Everything okay now? Okay. Right now it's okay. It, it is okay. But it's a, a little cold today. Cold? Really? Yes, a little. It's a, a, um, a little windy, windy. Oh, you are lucky by my house. is hot. Uh, <laughs> no wind. No wind. Uh, <laughs> so it's cold in Ilopango at this moment. Yes, I think. Okay. Uh, um, hi, Carla. How are you? Hello, Carla. How are you? Hello. Good evening. How How is everything? I'm doing great. Great. Good day today. It's a very long day. I could imagine. But today is Thursday, right? Are Are you waiting for your Christmas bonus? Yes, of course. Everybody. I'm going to spend everything on, on Christmas evening and, 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 and the last day also. What, your, your Christmas uh, bonus? You're going to spend it on what? On, on the food of evening, Christmas, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Okay. What we do in yes, my yes, you know, we are yeah. a big family. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. In my family, it's only I think we're only six. So what I do is I go. I I don't know. Have you ever eaten panes reinita? What I've heard, I've heard panes that it's very good. Yeah, they're very good, and um. Yes. So I, I just go there and I buy the sandwiches, the, the turkey sandwiches. And they're very, very good. And that way, you know, nobody cooks, nothing complicated. <laughs> what is it? Sorry? What is panis? Oh, Reinita, they are in Antigua Cuscatlan. They're, they're famous. They're very, very good. Okay, have you ever eaten panes migueleños? Yeah. I live nearby panes migueleños. Okay, oh yeah, in Montserrat, right? I live right? near, uh-huh. By La Ibu, correct? Exactly. Okay. And the, the buildings. Oh, okay. The problem with those, I mean, those are very good sandwiches, but the problem is they're very expensive. They cost like seven dollars, no? Six? Seven dollars? Yes. Yes. Pan and serenita are the same thing with the egg and everything, and they cost four dollars. I think pan and serenita, they're, they're better. Yes, they are. And cheaper. Yes. Yes. Now I'm hungry. Thank you, man. I ate. I ate. <laughs> I ate a small dinner and now I'm hungry again. <laughs> okay, um, hello Veronica, how are you? Hello, fine, but I come into my house right now. You can see my job, mm -hmm. yeah. we have an inventory all the week. Oh man, you are just it's coming a, in. It's, a, it's the final of the, uh, it's the end of the year and it's imagine a lot of job and now I can you, you work in the airport correct in the airport yeah how is the airport how is but the movement no problem. In this... I'm not driving oh yeah how is the movement in the airport in these days it's not a normal December correct 
yes, right now it's, it's, it's different because a lot of people come in about, uh, it's different of the other days. It's a, a lot of karate today. So there's a lot of movement. Especially in the, uh, uh, the seven uh, at night. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of for riders. Yes. I think it's, a, it's for a holiday. Yes, and um, a lot of people are escaping. Are escaping their country for the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. And uh, the people uh, forget a lot of uh, stuff about coronavirus, I think. <laughs> yes, it's true. Uh, what's up, Gio? How was your day today? Hi, hey, teacher. Um, a little bit busy and tricky <laughs> tricky yeah why how why was it tricky because of the executives oh. <laughs> these those women are a little pain in you know why where <laughs> yeah pain in the butt yeah <laughs> but, oh man uh, okay but do you have like a normal vacation or do you do you work on on December 25th and on oh, December 24th and, and December 30th? Really? Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, we got uh, all the all the week. Okay. We, we got uh, last, let me see maybe a week or 10 days I think. Are those your yearly vacations? Mm -mm. Nope. So those we are like only had the extra vacations. Yeah, the normal ones, the holiday week, the uh, the week in the August for the. So you have like government vacations. Yeah. Oh, okay, but you don't have like personal vacation, like a year vacation. Mm -mm. No. Oh, okay. No, we don't. I prefer I prefer to have that that type of vacation the the um, government type vacation. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer you, you make your time. Or... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. All right, let me share my screen so we can finish this lesson. Have I told you lately that I love you? Okay, do you see my screen? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. So remember yesterday we we're doing hypothetical situations that if you start like a negative, you finish with a positive, or if you start with a positive, you finish with a negative? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I'm an alien. Uh oh. Let me see. I lost the page now. Oh no, there it is. Let's do the knowledge check. If it opens. Okay, it says knowledge check. Instructions, read each statement, rearrange the regret or hypothetical situation given in order to complete the information. So we have five examples and I think we have five people online. 
So guess what? You get one each. Oh no, wait, two, four, seven. Oh no. We have we have more people online. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to have Claudia start first, number one, and then you choose the next one. The next victim. Okay. Okay. So let me read number one. It says, if I've listened to my parents, blank, decisions in pragmatic would would more would more made have. Hmm. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it says, if I listen to my parents, I could have made more pragmatic decisions. Okay, good. Can you repeat the first part, please? If I listened to my parents. Okay, good. But I think you're pronouncing I've, and this is I've. I've. Yeah, I okay, with a D. I'd, if I, I'd. yes. All right. Hey, that was very, very good. That was very good. Claudia, thank you. Choose someone, Claudia. Doris. <laughs> Doris. Hello, Doris. Geo. Earth, Earth two. Uh, <laughs> why me? <laughs> I didn't do nothing. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see. Uh, um, if I'd been more active, uh, I wouldn't be overweight. If I've been more active, I wouldn't be overweight. Wait. All right, cool. That was simple. That was easy. All right, your turn. Okay. My turn. Let me see. I choose. Yeah. Sandra. Um, repeat, please. Do number three. Ah, oh, thanks. Um, if I be more ambiguous, I could have gotten a promotion. Good, ambitious. Ambitious. Repeat. If I had been. Okay. If I. Been. If I had been more ambitious. Mm -hmm. I could have gotten a promotion. All right. Good. Thank you. Yes. If I had or if I. Okay. No problem. Thank you. That was very good. Sandra. Choose somebody, please. Permit. Romina, please. And. Per permit. Selena. Number four. Yes, number four, please. I can see the well. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, now yes. Can you see now? Yeah, now yes. If I study studying harder in school, I would have a lot more. No, if I I could have more learning. I could have learned more. Okay, if I studied harder in school, okay, good, remember? Then you, after you have to start with a subject, I could have, I could have learned more. Very good, very good. A lot more or um, I could have learned a lot more. Okay, good. Your turn, please. 
Uh, choose somebody to do number five. Ricardo. All right, Ricardo. Okay, number five. Yes. If, if I save money, <clears throat> I wouldn't be broke, as broke as I am now. Okay. <laughs> this yeah. was a little difficult when, when I resolved it. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay, but do you know the expression, I am broke? Yeah. I am broke, yeah. It's not money. Yes. Yeah, as, as broke, uh, it says, uh, I, I wouldn't uh, be as broke as I am now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. For example, Mike Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine Mike Tyson in the 80s, he made like $300 million. And he has nothing now. If he had been a little smarter, yeah, he would have two times or three times more in his fortune. All right, that was good. Okay, I like I I would really I I would really recommend you to practice those hypothetical situations because it involves a lot of grammar, and it's interesting. Yes. Okay, pronunciation, reductions of have and been. All right, so let's listen to the video. We didn't, we didn't hear. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, sorry. I should have been less selfish. This section, we want to wrap up this. Hi, to wrap up this section, we want you to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. You may complete these sentences and practice them in class. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. So uh, the contraction of I should have, I should have been. I. When I was younger, what is the contraction of I should have been? I've been, I've been. No, it's actually I should have been. I should have been. I should have been. Yeah, I mean, I should have been. I should have been. But you know what? Don't worry. If you want to say complete, in my opinion, I think it's better to say complete. Because that way you remember the grammar, the grammar, because sometimes when you want to speak, um, when you want to speak contractions, what happens is that you forget some words. Okay. So if you want to say I should have been or I should have been, should have been, they're both correct. But like I said, I, I would recommend you to um, say it complete. It's better. And why did you get off the page? Okay. okay. You can't see my page right now, right? No. Why we don't? No, we can't. No, we can't. Yeah. Okay. Now, next is a listening exercise. Listen to the people describe their regrets should uh, choose the regret for each person. So let's listen to Barbara, Alex, and Yi Shun, and let's listen to their regrets, all right? Page 76, exercise 11, listening, regrets. Part A, listen to people describe their regrets. Complete the chart. One, Barbara. 
I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. I understand. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar, and they can play songs, and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. Page 76, Exercise 11, Part B. Listen again. What effect have the regrets had on each person's life? 1. Barbara. I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean... You can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar and they can play songs and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. The program continues on the next CD. Okay, so what is Barbara's regret? It didn't take typing. The regret didn't, didn't take typing classes in high school. High school. Good. Kids today are like, what is that? Mm. What is mechanografia? Uh-huh. <laughs> Number two, Alex says, um, what is... Stop exercising. I'm sorry? Stop exercising. Stop exercising. Stop he, he stopped exercising for Stop Alex. Stop exercising. He regret the topic. He, okay, um, his regret is he stopped exercising. But if you say he regrets, you know, he regrets stopping the exercising. He regrets stopping? Exercising, yes. That's a good point right there because regret is a, it's a verb. So stop is a verb. So if you're going to have, in this case, the two verbs continued, the second verb is an ing. Yeah, in, in this case, if you have a two verb in, in, the, in, the, in the sentence, you, you, yeah, they have to use 
the, the second bar you are using in a, in a progressive in ing form. Yes. Okay, it depends because if I ask you, what is Alex's regrets? His, res, his regret is he stopped exercising. But if, if, if I say he regrets stopping exercise, He regrets smoking so many years. He regrets drinking too much liquor. He regrets eating too much sugar. You see, because regret is a verb, so then the second verb, if, if you're going to say it in that form, yes, the second form is with an it's, um, ing. Like, um, listen to this. But 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 it's correct. Is you say that the uh, the uh, say that the the regret of Alet is is stop it exercising is correct or not? The regret. Okay, Alex's regret is that he stopped exercising. What is Alex's regret? He stopped exercising. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we have Okay, uh what about Yi Shun? He didn't, didn't learn, learn to, play. to play the guitar as a, as a kid. To play the guitar as a kid. Okay, good. So she regrets that she didn't learn um, to play guitar as a kid, or she regrets not learning mm -hmm. to play guitar to play as guitar. a kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, she me in this moment. Not learning. Yes, I regret not traveling when I was young and free. Mm -hmm. Because now I, I really want to travel, but it's very difficult for me to travel now. Because, you know, obligations and this and that. And uh, if I take my family, I have to pay hotels, but I, I, I want to backpack, <laughs> you know, sleep wherever. <laughs> so I regret not traveling. What is something you regret? But can you please tell me, I regret, and then the next verb with ing. I regret not saving money before I took those those credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> I, I regret taking credit cards. I, I regret, yeah. I regret eating too much junk food. OK, yes. But it's correct. You say uh, I re I regret not 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 studying English when when I was younger. Of course. Yes, I regret not studying English when I was younger. I regret not listening to my parents in certain things. Uh -huh. Yeah. When I was younger. Yes. I regret voting. I, 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 I regret not not had not having not take a lot of money. That is correct. I regret not to taking a lot of money. Not taking a lot of money. I mean, grammatically, the sentence is correct. Morally, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why morally? <laughs> Because you're saying, I regret not taking more money. It's like, okay, you took money from someplace. Yeah. <laughs> you, you understand? Okay, like when you say, um, when you say that, Jaime, you regret not taking money from where? You took money from where? For, for, uh, to, <laughs> to travel around the world, for buying. Oh, okay. <laughs> buy a buy a, a luxury car like a big house. I don't know. 
invest a lot of money in the in other company or whatever. Oh, okay, good. Yes, in that case, yeah. Grammatically, I mean, yes, it's correct. You're right. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> what about you, Ricardo? Tell me something you regret. I regret uh, <laughs> not to study English before many years ago. <laughs> okay. Okay. Copy. Uh, oh, we don't have Ingrid with us. Huh? <laughs> she would actually say, Oh, wait, I want to hear Ronnie. Hi. <laughs> I remember. <Thank> you, sir. <laughs> What's up, Ronnie? Give us an example. Okay, example. I regret uh, being not famous, spending uh, time time with my brothers when I was young. Okay, good. Good. I think I think in this moment my father regrets not spending enough time with me. Because um, I, I think it's true because um, I feel kind of bad because he frequently calls me. Hey, uh, are you there? Uh, I'm going to go visit you. How's your son? And the problem is that when I have my day off, I don't rest that day. There's a lot of things I have to do. I have to go to the supermarket. I have to go visit my in-laws. I have to go here and there. So I don't really have a lot of time for my father. And I feel bad for that. Yeah, that's so, true. It happened to me too. Yeah, it's like that song, Cats in the Cradle, huh? Oh, mm -hmm. the cats what, is your, the... what is your name, Prophet? I'm sorry? What is your name? My name is David. David. Yes. Hey, David, what, what happened? I don't have, I don't know, some time follow. They need to discuss different kinds of topics but more influenced for, for, I don't know, to have, I don't know, a specific forum in, in, this, in this program, I don't know, to discuss more about a topic, a specific topic about, and then you have the opportunity to discuss with other people more, more than for practice English. I don't understand, um, wait. No, no, but in this class, in this group, uh, no have opportunity to have a, like a forum and to have the opportunity to discuss topic, uh, some topic like, a, for example, a discussing topic about pandemic, topic about finances, topic about or that uh, not really, oh, you need to following all the same, the same format you have on your platform. Well, yeah, okay, I see your point. You know, um, the, okay, there are some factors here. Number one, um, the class is very is very short. It's one hour. And, yeah, uh, yeah, and but it's better, but it's better if you have or not some discussion a topic a specific topic in one hour you can discuss a lot. Yeah, and that's pretty much what we do. Like right now, we're talking about regrets. I mean, the 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 the, gra the grammar that we're doing right now is regrets, and how you should say it. I regret not doing this. I regret not doing that. And I guess there you can talk about a topic. Like right now, I'm talking about my father's topic. You know, I in a third person. You know, I think my father regrets not spending enough time with me. Um. Gio says he regrets taking credit cards. Uh, Ronnie said he regrets not spending enough time with his with his in-laws. Ricardo regrets not studying English before. If you notice, mm -hmm. those three were different stories, but the same grammar. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yes, I, I, I understand that uh, your, your point of view, but sometimes, brother, in the, at this level, I don't know. The, we are looking for to to have to getting more fluency in English to have discussing topic specific. When when they have a conference, you don't have uh, to to put in that, uh, the sentence in this way. You have to discussing to speak in English to understand English to discuss on specific. And then for this level, I think it's so important to have some 
discussion for an event, event, so, some topic specific. So I speak more, more than the, I speak right now. Yes, I see your point, but in order, in order to have a conversation class, you really need to have a lot of grammar. Yeah. Before that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because it's it's kind of difficult. Know, okay, let's let's talk about anything. Yeah, I mean we could do that, but there's a lot of grammar involved. A lot of grammar involved. Um, like for example, what we did yesterday. Were you in class yesterday? No, right. No, no, no. I, okay, I yesterday was pretty interesting because we we're we we're talking about hypothetical situations, uh -huh. and um, you know, like we were inventing a, a situation, and then you would give me an advice. You know, if you should have asked your ex girlfriend first, if you remember class, if you had made numbers, yep, uh, in in hypothetical situations. So what 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 I try to do is to have a semi conversation regard, regarding the topic we're having the grammar topic yeah yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay all right class uh, let me see let me escape here okay what do you see in your screen right now did i stop sharing let's mm, see you <laughs> oh oh man i envy you <laughs> Okay, let's see. So let's, let's start the unit two. Yeah, we're good. Oh, it's raining. Yeah. Here's two. This is cool. Okay, now um, we're going to start the lesson two. Let's see what topics we're going to talk about now. Okay, you see the screen now? Yeah, right now. Yes. yes. Oh, she's in black today. All right, let's. Hey, guys, changing. I'm sorry? She changed. She changed. <laughs> Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers but it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient, <laughs> right next to campus. But that can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. The people can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends, and during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside? You mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. 
I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. So I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. Okay. So if you notice here, um, by the end of this lesson, you will uh, use, learn how to use the infinitive clauses to describe a purpose. If you notice the lady, she was describing why people like to go to the cafe and, the, and she would say, do you remember what kind of thing she would say? Yes. What? People like to go there for reading, do homework. Okay. Um, yeah. She okay, said comfortable seats, close to campus, and music. Yes. Yeah. It's true. Have you noticed like when you go to a cafe shop, you can stay there for a long time? It's relaxing. Yeah. Okay, so listen to this. Describing a purpose. You understand the idea of describing a purpose, right? Yeah. Okay. Hi. For you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause, to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. It's important to have fashionable. Okay, let's stay here with the infinitive clauses. One question, David, that what in this case you use to succeed, but succeed is, is in, I don't know how I, it is, is a, in a pass or is it in this case? In, okay, imagine you're an accountant, correct? Yeah. Imagine I, I, get, I ask you for an advice. What do I need to do in order to be a, a good accountant? What would be your advice? In order to be a good accountant, you should, you must, you have to, what? That's too, too important. If you have to, to be the how to, uh, 
to hire or hire an accountant or, or okay, not. Okay, when advisor. people okay, people tell me I want to work in a call center. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, in order to work in a call center, it's important that you speak good English. Yeah. You know? So I want to be an accountant. What do you recommend? Yeah, but to be an accountant, yeah, it's recommended to study at international standard. Uh, it was a, a international standard financial, no? Okay. International standard rule to and uh, to have to be a, 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 a I an mean, success to successful accountant. Okay. Okay. Remember last time we were speaking about like like keep it simple. For example, like this is an option too. You know. In order to be an accountant, you have to, it's important that you love numbers, I, 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 I assume. Um, not numbers, <laughs> this, is, this is no incorrect way to say, yeah, look, not really or, that the accountant. Or you have to be good with numbers. No, not really, the, the accountant not really to lock a, a, lock, a number. The accountant is, people have, have I don't know, some criteria to 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 use to advise the company how to uh, have in order all all the all the uh, financial financial or an uh, an accountant of the company. Okay. Not really that the people love number. Not really. Oh, okay. Okay, that's true because that's what I would assume. But you're an accountant, you know best. So, um, okay. I hate, I, 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 I hate the, 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 the number. Oh, you do? <laughs> <laughs> That's ironic. Okay, um, okay, so you can say in order to be an accountant, it's important you are an organized person, I guess. Yeah. Yes. But you see, um, you say in order to be, or to run a popular internet cafe, it's good to have an idea. So the objective here is the infinitive, to run, to establish, or the infinitive class with four. No, no, David, my, my question was in this, in this case, in this case, you have a, to succeed it, that, that uh, only the, the, this term, how you use in, in infinite way to succeed it. Succeed it. No, when, know, su when you use infinitive, infinite. the verb is always um, informal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the base form to succeed. The base form, to, uh -huh. Okay. Um, Gio, you are you work in um, advertising, right? Yeah. What exactly do you do? Um. Well, it depends. Um, most common thing I do is design, uh, graphic design. Oh, okay, okay, good. So, um, what what do you recommend if I want to be a designer? What do I need um, to be a designer? Um, I think you... To be a designer? Yeah, to be a designer, you you should have to, be patient, I guess. To, to have a let me see that word. Expensive computer. <laughs> mm, that's one of the things. Yeah, but <laughs> we here in in Spanish we say uh, gusto. Uh, the, the, Good the, taste. The, the, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, for, for you for your name, um, combining colors and order of the thing. Um, creative, creative person. Yeah. You have to be creative. Yeah, that's a that's a part. From yeah, from it's it. a part so important, no? Yeah, because yeah, you have to. That's another part. The to have a, a good idea how to make a design or or if you want you're making a a video for a company 
Okay. You have to um, visualize how to to get that idea in a video, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you resume everything in one sentence, you to be a to designer. Be <laughs> I'm sorry. And have a good taste. Okay. But now I understand what you say in taste. So it wouldn't be taste. It would be a good eye. A good eye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So to be a designer, you have to have a good eye for the ideas. Yeah. All right. For to visualize. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. Uh, who has their own business here? Does anybody have a business? Do you like taking pictures? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think everybody likes taking pictures, but do you like taking pictures as like a, a hobby or like a art? <laughs> mm. You know, it's very difficult to take a picture. Yeah. Ricardo, no? I'm sorry? Ricardo Romero, no? No, no. He's, he's only using my camera, my phone, uh, the, my camera on the phone only. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, for, just for selfies. Yeah. Just, just, for, selfies. just for selfies. <laughs> you when, know? I travel, when I travel, I take uh, uh, where the most important places when I visit it. Oh, okay, good. But you know, yes. you know, in in order to to take pictures or to become to take a good picture, actually, there's a lot of work. There's a lot of work because there's a lot of things you have to know. You have to know the aperture, the ISO. You know, you have to know the shutter speed. It's it's not very. I mean, with a phone, yeah, like, but like an artistic photo is to take an artistic photo, you, you, you have to have a, a good eye. Yeah. Or you, you need to have a, a to have a, 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 a good camera. A good camera. Yes. Yes, of course. Well, you need to have a professional camera. Yeah. We have to get light to uh, diffusion on our thing. Um, you know, like, um, when you become a, a great photographer is when you don't use automatic, you know, mm -hmm. you set the camera how you want. Yeah. Yes. I, I love taking pictures, but I, I don't take pictures anymore. I stopped. But now when I look at pictures, I said, wow, I, I admire the, um, the photographers. Okay, let me see. Ronnie. Hi. Ronnie, my friend wants to become a DJ. What does yes. he need to become a DJ? Uh, first of all, the, you like music. Okay, but can you answer complete? To become a DJ? Uh, it's to important a DJ. that you like music. Do you like music? All of kind music. Okay. If you, if you, you, uh, you want to uh, be a DJ. Okay. So can you repeat it again, please? Okay. To be, to become a DJ. In order. Okay. In order to be a DJ. In, in, in order to be a DJ, you you like all kinds of music. You need to like all kinds of music. You need to like. Okay, you need, you need to like all kinds of music. And you need to have rhythm. Rhythm, okay. Rhythm, rhythm. And, and you, you need to talking more much you need to talk a lot yes oh, okay talk a lot okay or you and need to be interactive have... yes all right that's all i guess a good, a good host 
you need to be a good host, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Laura Ramos. Hi, teacher. Hello. This is a, Hello. This is a, a question. Listen to this. What do you need to become a congressman here? <clears throat> uh, Congress. Okay, because in El Salvador we say diputados, right? Mm -hmm. But um. <laughs> if, you, if you translate diputados to English, you would be a deputy. And that's more like, you know, like a police. Entonces, um. un diputado son los que están en Congreso, right? The Congress. So what do you yes. need to be a congressman in El Salvador? Uh, in, in this country, it's yeah. important to be a liar. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> to be a big liar, hypocrite, criminal. To be, a, to be a good congress, you need to fight in all the time with the president. Yes. In, in this country. In this country. Yeah, this, I think. In this honesty. Yes. Yeah, so in this country, in order to become a, um, a congressman, it's important to be a big liar, hypocrite. Criminal, assassin in some cases. <laughs> yeah. hey, uh, how, Kidnappers. How, how need to do to, 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 to be a successful president in Salvador, to be a liar too? To be a liar. Uh, to make promises, false promises. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think if you make want to be, promises. if you want to be a successful president, you need to have, you need to be uh, connected with the social media. Yeah, you need, you need to have a, a lot of group of, 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 of people have making uh, publicity in social network. Huh? Or yourself. Look at Barack Obama was like the, the, the best, the best social media president. <clears throat> but 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 behind of him, you have have a, a good a good team working for for him. Of course, of course. Yeah. But but remember, every politician has a, a good team working for him, and maybe the tweets and the email and everything. Maybe it's not the president; it's his team. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you do see the president involved. Like for example, here Bukele. You saw Bukele in those skateboards. You saw Bukele in but, 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 but Bukele have a, a, a team, a big, more than 20 person working as a, the have Costa Rican people, you have, I don't know, that people have a war or a... I don't know if he has 20, I don't know if he has 100, but I do know that he is involved too, because you see videos of him. Yeah. It's similar no, but, to but, 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 uh, Barack but Obama. You, you need something advise you, how, how can you, uh, to, to, I don't know, to publicate or to selling in, in what to do in the, in, the, in, in, in the best time, on the best opportunity to, do, to make a publicity. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's it, smart. <laughs> it's very, very <laughs> smart. You know when to do the thing. It's like a Sanchez today team. <laughs> King of the I, I, you know, you know what I, I, I think one of the worst, worst things Sanchez Seren did as a, if if he did have a, a team of assessors, which I don't think so. Remember, like three years or two years ago, when they killed eleven people in, from some electricity company. Um, yes. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yes. The next day, Sanchez Seren went to the one year anniversary of Hugo Chavez's death. And I remember that day when, the, when they killed those 11 workers, El Salvador was in shock. I was in shock. I was like, oh my God, that's so sad. That is so sad. And, and the next day, our president, he decides to go to the Hugo Chavez anniversary. I think that was a very, very extremely bad move. Because like Laura said, you have to be a big hypocrite. He should have stayed, you know, and say, you know, big lie, like, 
we will find them, we will not permit this, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Hmm. See, so that's why you have to have good assessors and you have to be active too. Like, uh, I think Barack Obama was the best social media politician. You saw Barack Obama on TV shows, in Laker games, drinking beer, eating hot dogs, yeah. Yeah. dressing great. normal. <laughs> Yeah. And maybe it's a but, lie. It's a lie, but, but it worked. But but after the, after the, the president, he he make a lot of money. With a lot of program that he has a, about I don't know. He make a lot of money with, with of course. With, yeah, of course. But but his objective worked. He reached out to the correct like to the people he wanted to reach out. It's like I think the president today. The president today, he's reaching out to the young adults under. He's reaching out to young people, to young adults. He doesn't care anymore about old people. He's reaching out to the young people. For example, if you need, if you need to have a Barack Obama as a, as, a, as a speaker in a conference, you need to, to, to pay him more, I don't know, no, no less than $1 million, no? No, I don't think it's that much because I yeah, think no, it's a lot. It's a lot. It, Hillary you, Clinton was charging two hundred and fifty thousand. I think. I think she's the highest. But but Clinton, but Clinton, no, in that famous. But but the Obama, yes. But if you need more, the the buyer more or less, you need to to the wife of, of Obama. Yes, Michelle. Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. I, I Michelle think Obama, Michelle Obama, if, if you need to have an speaker at Michelle Obama, you have to pay for whatever conference, uh, I don't know, 200, 200, dollars no? That's what soccer players do now, right? Soccer players that yeah. don't have money. Because I remember, do you like soccer? Do you remember Marcelo Salas? Um, Bam Bam, ¿cómo se llama el otro? Samorano. Samorano. They yeah. came here as speakers. Pero saber cuánto cobraban. Yeah. Yeah. It's smart. It's very smart. Carla. Hi, Carla. Hi. I want to work Hi. in your company. What do I need to do in order to work in your company? Do I just go and say, hey, I want to work here? You need to be, to don't have problems, to don't have credit problems or legal problems or, and you need like a, a good okay. presentation maybe. Okay, okay, thank you. In this case but you, you said... don't need like, 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 like academic. Okay. I mean, I, I, I heard that people need to study and blah, 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 but at the end, you use only Excel. Okay, in this case, you said you need to, and then you and then you gave a negative. You need not to have a bad credit, you said, right? Yes. Okay, so in this case, you have to say you need to have a good credit. You need to have a good credit. Or you need to have a clean credit. A clean credit. A good presentation. What about if I have tattoos? It's okay. I have I I have partners with a lot of tattoos. Okay. The the whole arm, the All whole right. leg, the tattoos. You know, I'm happy for that because now uh, I like ten years ago or fifteen, that was like a taboo. Like oh yeah. but now, yes, now they it's ask they they ask you on the polygraph uh, exam. They ask you, you, do you have tattoos? And you said, yes. You have to say like, what the, the tattoo is about. Oh, <laughs> if have you like have a, a big MS. No, <laughs> I don't have an MS, I just have a 13. But if number. you have a, a butterfly. But it's my birthday. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you have a tattoo to be long uh, game number. <laughs> what about those teardrops in your face? Oh no, they're not teardrops, it's sweat because I work a lot. <laughs> it represents sweat. 
<laughs> no, okay. No, that's good. Island. <laughs> no, it, this doesn't represent crying. It represents the sweat because that's how I work. So, I work because, very uh -huh. hard. You're a big worker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, so in order to, okay, in order to work in, in your bank, I have to have a good credit and I have to have a good presentation, right? And have a, don't have legal problems. Okay, good. How legal is legal? If, for example, if they arrest you for steal okay. anything, it's like, for example, you... where I work, they're very, like in call centers, some call centers, they accept if you had legal problems, but depending on the problem you had. I think depending, if you uh, are in the Procuraduría, <laughs> <laughs> I think there's, there's not like, I don't know, but I assume. Yeah, yeah I, I guess it's a serious legal problem, like stealing, killing. Killing, uh-huh that kind of legal problem oh, okay all right but the, here is a taboo if you have been arrested for driving drunk mm -hmm. i yeah. don't know if, if they accept that i don't know oh, okay that's one i never done in my life i never been arrested or close uh, to being arrested and i hope i never will i think i'm surprised i've never been arrested mm. But the questions in the polygraph are yes, are not questions. So if they ask you, have you been arrested? Uh, yes. <laughs> and that was for driving drunk. <laughs> yeah, but they yeah. go further, further, and then they ask yeah. you why you uh, you been arrested. Yes, it's true. It's true. Okay, Laura, hi. Hi. How are you, Laura? Fine. Laura, are you a good cook? Uh, more or less. Uh, uh, you know, I take. Uh, uh huh. You taken courses? I take. Uh, yes. Because you, I. Yeah. Yes. Can you give me an advice? I love to cook, but I have problems with rice. Um, I know I know it's easy, but sometimes to leave the rice perfect. What what um, what is the secret to make a good rice? Uh, for me, it's important to buy. Uh, I don't know how do you say precocido. Okay. Precocido Pre rice. Uh, okay, it's important to buy. Uh, uh, pre cooked rice, rice. Okay. because it's more easy. It's easier. And fast. It's easier and more faster. Faster. Than the other rice. Faster than, than another rice. The common rice. Okay, so that's the trick. Yeah, because sometimes, sometimes my rice comes very nice and sometimes uh, I can make tortillas with that rice. <laughs> you yeah. Know. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now. I'm, all the rice I buy is gonna be pre cooked. Yes. Uh, all right, Ricardo. Hey. Hello. You work in a textile company, right? Yes. Right. In order to go into your company, what do you need to do? For 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 uh, for Joe or for for to visit only. Let's say to visit. Ah, to visit. Okay. For to visit, the, the, we have to to order to visit. You have to um, take a um, application because there are many machines moving. So but you have to wear a, a protection helmet. No. A protection in your uh, in your head and the protect and, and there are the environment is, is a more more um, I don't know uh, mota mm. <laughs> cotton 
The, the environment is more what? I'm sorry. Mota. Mota, mo, mo, mota, mota de algodón in, in, the, in the environment, around the environment. Oh, so you have to wear a mask. Yes, you you, you, have, you, you you have to wear a mask. Okay, mota in English is called weed. No, I'm joking. Weed. <laughs> yeah. Mota is called lint. 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 L I N T. Larry, uh, India, Nancy, Thomas. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Give you smoke a, Mota. Mota is <laughs> <or> smoke <laughs> lane. <laughs> <fun. laughs> so, so, Ricardo, uh, there's a lot of Mota in your job. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's, he's happy all the time. That's why you're. <laughs> Really? That is why you're look, at, happy look at him. And sleepy. Look, look at him. He's uh, only happy. <laughs> you are always happy and sleepy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now I understand. <laughs> now I understand why you have worked there 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, extra hours. Happy all day. You speak fast. You speak fast. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, okay. it's an obligation. It's a, it's a joke. It's a yes. joke, Ricardo. <laughs> so, so, Ricardo, it's an obligation to wear a mask. Yes, yes. And 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 there are uh, some areas is um, the 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 is uh, allowed. The you you have to use a uh, um, earplugs. Yes, earplugs. Yes, it's it's only it's a mandatory or obligatory use. Mandatory. So in order to go to your company, aquí ya no es you should, you have to, I guess you must. You must. So in order to go to the company, you must use protection. Use protection, yes. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, okay, class, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Okay, see you on Monday. Oh, no, tomorrow, Monday. tomorrow's the last day we have Friday. Next Friday, uh, no. just tomorrow. There's class tomorrow. Because remember last week we started on a Wednesday. Yeah, there were two days. Yeah. So ah. we still have two days. Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 So I'll Sorry, see you tomorrow. Ronnie. But if you want, Ricardo, you have vacation tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy if, tomorrow but with. If you bring Marta. Yeah. You can Be careful with the Marta tomorrow, Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> share share the Marta. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, class. Thank you. Bye. Bye.